Hi everyone, Miss Corrado. Um, it's nice to see you. Uh, week one closing on Flipgrid. Uh, remember your response is a video to my video and we can hopefully see each other and we'll learn about that. I'm recording this on Saturday, so it's actually the beginning of the week. Um, and I have three questions that I want you to answer after you've done um, the lessons for this week. And the first question is, Tell me what you understand about the learning target. Remember this week's learning target was I can examine how an abiotic factor affects the population size of a pond. Um, so how oxygen and temperature. Mommy, can I wait for my turn? Mm -hmm. So how oxygen and temperature can actually affect the living things in the <laughs> pond. Tell me what you know about that. Number one. Number Mommy, two. Can I can I see? Can you sit on my lap? <clears throat> Over here. Number two, say hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, number, I'm making this hard. All right. Number, number two, were you able to find, understand, and do the work? So find, could you find it on Google Classroom? Understand, could you read it and like make sense of what it was that you were learning and doing? And then do, like, did you have access to everything that you needed in order to get the assignment done? So number two, were you able to find, understand, and do the work? Finally, third question, what is a glow and a grow for the week? So a glow is anything that is positive, that you're proud of, something good you saw somebody else do. Um, it could be related to our online environment. It could be related to something in your life. It doesn't matter what's a glow for your week and then what's a grow. So a grow is something that either you're frustrated by or you'd like to improve for next week. And again, this can be about our classroom or it can be about something else going on. So number three, what is a glow and a grow? Um, looking forward to your responses. Hope you all had a great week. Bye. Say bye. Okay, don't say bye. Bye.